Good morning. Good morning. It is October 1st, <coughs> and today we are getting a nephew. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're getting a nephew today. So, obviously, in Colombia, it's like, I don't know, 3 a.m. Here it's 10 40, and his sister is giving birth today. Yeah, she's scheduled for a C section mm -hmm. at what, 7? So, in like four hours, she's going to be in the hospital. Yeah. And we are having some, well, I'm having some breakfast now. I got another. They call it here in Nuremberg, they call it Bamberger, but in Bamberger it's called Hornla. And then I also got a Bretzel because, well, we're in Germany, so we should be <laughs> And I got a cappuccino. So that's breakfast. Then we're going to go home and have the leftovers for lunch and then go downtown. Right now we're on our way to the... It's called the Document Center Nazi Rally Grounds. A Nazi Rally Grounds. So we're just walking around, listening to the stories this thing tells us. And they have been mostly about how Hitler came to power and what happened with the Nazi party and the moment after Hitler came out of prison, he got into power and he was chosen the chancellor. And some book burning stuff. And this is the last section of the museum. Where they have already talked about the racism and the anti Jewish sentiment in the Holocaust. And I guess this is the part where they talk about the American troops coming or something. And yeah, there are some horrible pictures of Jewish people crying dead on the ground on, I guess, concentration camps. And yeah, should be done soon. Hey, so where are we now? Um, we're just looking on the inside of... I don't even know what the name of this building is. I don't know the name either. It's like a, the Coliseum. Yeah, so like this was created by the Nazi party um, for their Nazi rally. Mm -hmm. But I don't area where they were held because it was more like in the field yeah. where everyone can gather. Um, I don't know what they use this for exactly. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> but yeah. All right, we made it to the Zeppelin field. This is what I'm looking at over there is like a field and that's where all the Nazi party rallies took place. Every year, they would get together here and make this huge ass ra rally. So I, I hope we can go in and see it. I think I so. Know. We should be I able to see it now. from above. Sure. So we made it to the Nazi party rally grounds. This is what is called the Zeppelin Feld, right here. So we'd have the rally over in this area. They would march over on a street on that side, and they would come here. And then I think Hitler would stand over there with Berserius and make his speech. Let's go play Hitler for a little bit. Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil. Yeah, I think he would stand there. Right? He would stand down there and greet people and give his speeches. Yeah, that's it. So this is where Hitler stood and this, gave his speeches. Is this the Zeppelin field? Yeah, that's this, this is the Zeppelin field. This is it. This is it, yeah. Where is Led Zeppelin from? The UK. Hmm? The UK. And this is what Hitler would look at during his speeches. All the people just standing there praising him. Who just do his thing. Drunk on power. Like Drunk on said. power, yes. So we made it back to Nuremberg downtown, the old city. And we're 
up and we're gonna have some gingerbread cookies. Apparently, it's something I do here. Maybe Chase is gonna buy. Yeah, because it's like the Christmas capital of Germany. I think. Yeah. It's Christmas. I was reading in the museum that it's like a, it's known for like toy building and stuff. You remember? Or something like that. And it makes sense that to transition to those Christmas market thingies. Oh yeah, there's something about this is a there are a bunch of wasps just flying on the sweet stuff. They don't care. I think these are bees. Not sure, maybe wasps. Oh look, can try the stuff. Okay, Tracy, how is it? What'd you have? Gingerbread. Gingerbread? Oh, gingerbread. Is it better than the one we have at home? No. <laughs> oh, Sarah likes it better. Oh. This was not as strong. Like, the gin I don't know, one of them was so intense. It's a subtler ginger flavor, more fresh. Well balanced. There we go. There's nuts in here, which I'm not used to having yeah. at home. Okay, we're gonna keep walking. We're gonna check the seat. We're gonna get to the castle. Check it out, go to the tippy top and have some beer. Ooh, should get some beer, some street beer. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, yes. Got all the meats. It's a long line. Holy shit. <laughs> he looks good. I have no idea what those mean. But this color makes the meat look so fucking good. It's also red. <laughs> Back at St. Lawrence Church. So pretty. Fuck, it looks so old. See better it has the like net on the facade. Still pretty though. You can see the castle up there in the distance. That's where we're going. Of course we had to come to L'Occitan. Every time we see an Occitan. <laughs> You know, oh. I've never owned a Luxutan product in my life. Actually, no, it's a lie. You do. He bought me for Christmas. It's this. Yes. I love it. It's the best. Yeah, the almond line. Super good. Oh, look, you can buy a... Awesome. I should get this with the pump. Yeah, that'll be good. But in Winnipeg, I guess. Yeah. We're here in Swarovski. What are we buying today? Nothing. <laughs> are you sure? Oh, look at those things. Oh, so that's cute. really cute. The candle holders. Oh, look at these things. They're so cute. Look at the wine glasses. The snowman's cute. They're all cute. Very nice. Look at all of these clocks. So cool. Looks so nice, the wood looks so good, but look at this price. Oh my god. 540 euros. The most intricate ones like that one, that one's probably so expensive. Oh yeah, 680. So expensive. 899 euros. Holy shit. They're all so cool. It's just like a souvenir shop. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to get? A Christmas pickle? I think we <laughs> I think we should buy something as a souvenir. Sure. Like for a Christmas souvenir. I don't know what. Let's find something. Yep. <laughs> Made it to the square with the beautiful fountain. Maybe you're like so different in the data. Yeah. Yeah, it was also like a something going on here in the square, mm, wasn't like it? A herb market or something. Yeah, Beck, that's where the donut is. Yeah. Yeah, Beck over there in the distance, yep. Another church, of course. Oh, and we're going over there to the tourist the information. Yep. Yeah, it's the tourist oh, information right center. There. And Sarah, there you go. That's the um gingerbread. More gingerbread. To where I want to go here? Okay. to have a beer next to the river. 
It's called Cafe and Barcelona. Nice play on words. Right next to the river. Such a cute little place. We're gonna have some beer. Gonna wait for Tracy to get her Christmas stuff. And we'll go up to the castle. Oh my god, we made it to the top. Oh, there's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look at this deep climb. Going Over here. To the castle of Nuremberg. You're lying. Which is really amazing. You're wicked. Yeah, so You're medieval. Look at the tower. To the view. Let's see what the view looks like. Oh my god. It's one of those construction <laughs> things. It's <laughs> amazing. Those yellow yeah. things. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> It's a good view. Beautiful. <clears throat> now we get to go eat German food, which I'm so yeah, excited for. Drink more beer. Yeah, man. Oh, and two nights ago, <laughs> we had uh, some beer in that restaurant down there. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't come up here because it was so dark. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now we're here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Okay. So Carlos had the Iron whiskey. That's the whiskey from this place called Iron. And I have a three beer sampler. Uh, gold, red, and brown. Well, this is one. Oh yeah, you can look at them. They're all made here. That's great. It's really good. It's very malty. It's good. It's actually pretty good. And that one is fantastic. This is pretty fucking good. I like all of them. It's good? Yeah, it is. I don't, we don't know how many years that one is though. Yeah. How many years that's been aged? Yeah. We have to ask her. Do you like it? It's a little watery. Yeah. Does it burn you too strongly? It's good. I like the beers are really good. They're really good. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm like them too. I like that one. Check out these tasty glasses. It's so modest. It's so big. And it's only 6 euro 50. All of this. It's really good. Yeah. It's like a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Oh, well, we already had, I was already sat down and had a cocktail and beer before this. That's interesting. Very long to you. Mm -hmm. that, you know, barley. Mm. Red beer. Not even. Super light. It's fine. Good. Yeah. Dark beer? It's fine. <laughs> super light. It doesn't like if I didn't know if this were a dark beer, I would think it was just like a regular a red beer. Yeah. It's been a success. <laughs> Get the Irish organic single malt whiskey. It's hard, it's strong. More than 40%. Yeah. Yeah. That's a barely specific. It was like a drop. Look, you get the feel for it. Oh, it's it's not like a little I used to get like the smoke of this. That's really nice. It's really nice, really. Yeah, it's really nice. 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 Ye
Yeah. It's harder than regular whiskey. Yeah, how much percentage is that? 43. Okay, we came to the restaurant. We have our food. I have the Cajun Spetzel. It comes with a side salad. Got the Edelstuff beer, which is very nice, a little herbal. Carlos got the. Well, are you trying the Spetzel? I'm trying the special right away. The sauce is so good. So this is cheese mm. spetzel with it's a Gruyere cheese spetzel, like I don't know a German noodle, and this is the pork knuckle with what's that called again? That round thing? I don't know what that is. <laughs> potato, dumpling. potato dumpling. Yeah, that's what the menu. Ooh, that's gonna be good. And Carl's got that big <laughs> pile of sauerkraut. Yeah. I'm not gonna eat that. But I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat this. It smells so good. Mm. Very good. Both? <laughs> Are they both as good as you remember? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So nice and juicy. Is that, is that pork shoulder I cooked? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. Remember when we had Cajun Spetzel for the first time in Stuttgart? Mm -hmm. mm. That is. I really like that Cajun Spetzel. It's really, really good. So amazing. So nice. Okay, I'm gonna try this thing. It's a potato dumpling. Yeah, but I don't really I don't remember like liking it. Yeah, it's not a big, big, not a great deal. It's not a bunch of flavor in there. It's kind of bland. Ooh, I think that's why you put this on. This is um, gravy horn. I know, I think that's for, for the meat. Made for, for, for both? Yeah. And the cracked like skin on top? Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Here, I'll try the sauerkraut. <laughs> so much sauerkraut. <laughs> it was good. The best? The care just got them? And the pork. Yeah, it's all pretty good. Oh, it's so good. Awesome. A great beer, too. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So this is what happens when you have a language barrier in Germany. You get free ice cream. You get a free <laughs> chocolate sundae from McDonald's. <laughs> Carlos goes up to the guy, he's like, Heiss Schokolade. And in German, ice is ice cream. Heiss is hot. So the guy thought Carl said like, ice Schokolade. So like a chocolate ice cream, chocolate sundae, but he meant Heiss chocolate, hot chocolate. So, because I was laughing, because this guy served us the ice cream, and I was laughing. Like Carlos, he meant he thought you meant like a ice ice cream. So I was laughing. Then the guy was like, "Oh, you meant hot chocolate." And I was like, "Yeah." So he gave us the hot chocolate. We got the free. ice cream yeah, we for got free. One we got one of these free. for free. <laughs> I knew we paid for the ice cream. We got this for yeah. free. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. Well. Oh, that was good. Okay. Well, free ice cream. We're a free hot chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whichever way you want to. Exactly. That was funny. That'll be fine.